Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? Winning Cures Everything. I turned that music down way too fast, didn't I? No, no. Come on. All right, let's jump into it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, This is the college football top 10 from both myself and Chris. And we're going to make it a, uh, a short one. It's going to be an every week thing. Hopefully you guys stick around for it. Of course, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six incredible sports books. You can find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. Chris, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Um, do we want to do like each number 10 or just you give yours and I'll give mine and we'll give reasons as we go? We probably could have talked about this beforehand. Uh, here's what we'll do. You go ahead and give your top 10. Okay. From 10 to 1. Okay. And then I'll do mine. And then as you go along through it, you can explain why you have teams where you have them. All right. Sound good? Number 10, I've got Florida. Okay. They've got one loss. Um, And uh, it was at Death Valley. Yep. To the best team in the country. Totally and, reasonable. And And I think they still deserve to be in the top 10. I'm not sure why I have Oregon over them at nine, but I just, it was kind of just, I kind of felt it. Maybe it was after this, I think they should have lost to South Carolina, so I kind of want to little, give a little jab in, <laughs> you know? So I've got Oregon nine, obviously. They have handled everyone they've played yeah. since Auburn, controlled 90% of the Auburn game, and so I think they are still... Deserving to be in the top 10. My number 18 will piss people off, but I don't care. It is Clemson. They have played no one. And so they are the worst big power five undefeated team that I've got. Because it's not anything that I think about them. I do this 100% based on resume. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Nope. I'm going to make a change right here. Okay. I'm going to bump them to seven. Notre Dame should be... The, the three one-loss teams should be below Clemson. That's a fact. Totally makes sense. Notre Dame would be eight. And then, because that, cause that Georgia win, loss doesn't look as good now. Uh, no, it doesn't. And then no. and then the, uh, technically, no, I'm leaving it where it is. I'm not digging around anymore. Clemson seven. Number six, Baylor. I absolutely believe they deserve to be here. I think they have an incredible resume. Wins over Texas Tech on the road. And at home against Iowa State are big wins. Those yeah. are real wins. Those are not soft teams. Okay. So that's where they are at six. Oklahoma above them at five. Okay. After that, I've got Bama, Penn State. Penn State has one of the best wins in the country at Iowa. Another great win at home against Michigan. They've got two really, really good wins. And, and they are in the top three. Ohio State, because they have destroyed everyone. But they don't have any great wins. It's just, this is just their kicking everyone's ass to a level that I think they deserve to be one of the top two teams based off resume alone. But, but their wins aren't better than Penn State's wins. If, I'm, if I was true to the resume and not any eye test, I would have them third. But okay. I understand there are some things that you got to just watch the games, and I believe Ohio State to be better than Penn State. And then number one's LSU. I think they have the eye test. They are the most explosive team in all of college football, and they have massive wins against real teams. No, that's that's one hundred percent true. So they now have wins over three good teams. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, my number 10 is Utah. I love that defensive line. They are putting everything together right now. They That team looks absolutely legit. Do they so, have a good win? Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Not really. I, I, you, your, your top 10 is your top 10. Yeah. My, my top I'm 10 just is asking my top 10. Questions. Uh, number nine, I've got Georgia. They've got a good top 10, or a, a good win over Notre Dame. Uh, but I've got Utah in over Notre Dame and over Oregon. I would have, I would have Notre Dame eleven, Oregon twelve. Uh, so I've got Utah ten, I've got Georgia nine. Uh, I think that this team is still really, 
really good, but they can obviously get had, right? So Florida, Georgia play in two weeks. One of them will be knocked out. Uh, Auburn, I've got a number eight. They play LSU this week. You know, uh, until they get beat again, I lock Auburn in this spot. Uh, I've got Florida at seven, who I was just talking about. Florida looks legit. Really good football team. They could absolutely beat Georgia. No, like no any, question. Anybody that thought that in the offseason, and I was one who thought that they had no chance, we were just wrong. We were wrong. Uh, I've got Penn State at number six. They have some deficiencies. That So they, they got out to this big lead on Michigan, right? 21 to nothing. And then Michigan absolutely shut them down. Now, Penn State's defense, absolutely legit. And I think that they could go get, you know, they could get that win at Ohio State. They could beat anybody in the country. But they are limited as far as just a few things here and there. Um, let's go to number five. I've got Oklahoma at number five. There are there are problems there. There are holes in that team. But there's nobody that they are going to play between now and the playoff that will be able to take advantage of it other than Baylor, right? So we'll, we'll see if they can get through that. Um, number four, I've got Alabama. Uh, this is purely eye test kind of stuff. It would not shock me to see them absolutely get housed by LSU. I think LSU is that good. Uh, number three, I've got Clemson. They are hitting their stride right now. Clemson is, uh, they are just dismantling people. Ever since that North Carolina game, they are doing what you're supposed to do against those kind of teams. They are destroying teams. Uh, number two is LSU. Uh, I've got them in, and really, it's just a back and forth. That The more I looked at it, the more I felt like I should have put LSU one. Uh, but I wrote it down, LSU is two, and Ohio State is one. But those are completely interchangeable right now. LSU's got the better wins. Uh, Ohio State has has dominated uh, everybody the way that you're supposed to do teams like that. But we're not really going to see Ohio State against a good team until this weekend against Wisconsin. So we will uh, we will see exactly how that uh, how that comes across. So, yeah, so my top 10 again, number 10, Utah, number 9, Georgia, number 8, Auburn, 7, Florida, 6, Penn State, 5, Oklahoma, 4, Alabama, 3, Clemson, 2, LSU, 1, Ohio State. You want to read yours again? Florida, Oregon, Clemson, nope. Florida, Oregon, Notre Dame, Clemson, Baylor, Oklahoma, Alabama, Penn State, Ohio State, LSU. Sounds good to me. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, hit that like button. We appreciate you guys checking out the show. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast as well, and we will see you guys again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.